up everybody? My name is Alexis Kimberly and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, it's a little bit of a change of pace because I really just wanted to sit down with you guys and talk to you guys. We are living in such strange times. Being at home, not really going anywhere, not seeing your friends, not seeing your family, really has the effect of making people anxious, making people depressed, really sad. I wanted to share this video for you guys in the hopes that I can kind of boost your confidence a little bit, just getting yourself motivated to go out there and be confident and be the best you that you can be. So if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up. And also, as always, hit that red button down below, the subscribe button, as well as the notification bell, so that you can be alerted every time I upload a video every Wednesday and Sunday. Okay, so the first tip that I wanna give you guys is to set realistic goals. Now, there are a lot of things in the world right now that we cannot control. So many things are out of our control. The direction this virus goes, how many lives it takes, how states respond, how the federal government responds to this virus. There are so many things that are out of our control, but what we can control, we should really take advantage of. So we should be setting realistic goals. What is that thing that you've been wanting to do that's been on your mind for a really long time that you just haven't been able to get done because you just don't have the the time. How many times have we said that? I know I've said that so many times. Oh, I really want to get this thing done. I really want to do this thing. I really want to set this goal, but I just don't have the time to do it. I don't have time to work out. I don't have time to meal prep. I don't have time to do this thing that I've been wanting to do for so long. Well, honey, now you got the time and time's a ticking, right? Because we're not going to be in quarantine forever, but it's really important that you set goals. Now for me, I love to buy a planner. I love to have a planner that I can just jot down all of the things that I want to get done in my day. I always plan my day at least a day in advance so that I know exactly what the day holds for me. Set a realistic goal with a realistic deadline. Make sure that you're giving yourself enough time to actually get that task done so that you're not setting yourself up to fail. The worst thing that we can do for ourselves is self-sabotage. So make sure that you're giving yourself a reasonable amount of time to get that thing done. Write that goal down along with your why. Why do you wanna get this thing done? Why do you wanna lose the weight? Why do you wanna start on a healthier eating track? Why do you want to apply for this job? Why do you want that thing? What is it going to give you that you've been yearning for? So write down the task, write down your why, and when you're gonna get it done. Now the next segue to that is to take care of your body. I am not at all naturally inclined to work out. I find it like, really, really annoying and it really, like I have to get myself in the mood to work out. Um, but let me tell you guys that once you actually get yourself going, when those endorphins kick in, it's like you're unstoppable and you're not gonna get that feeling with anything else. On top of that, it just makes you feel more confident. When you feed your body nutritious foods that it responds well to, you're not eating all of this junk, you're getting up, you're, you're getting outside, you're going for a walk, you're, you're giving your body the things that it needs, you're drinking the water that you need to drink, you're keeping your body hydrated. When your body is fed that fuel, you in turn, are gonna have the energy to do what it is that you wanna do. If you're feeling sluggish and lethargic and you don't wanna go anywhere, you don't wanna do anything, you're just, you're just gonna sink yourself further down into that feeling of depression. So get yourself up, get yourself moving, set a goal. Maybe work out, if you don't work out at all, set a goal to work out twice a week. Set a goal to work out three times a week. Don't you know set yourself up for failure or anything, but just get your body moving so that you can feel like, okay, I'm moving, I can do this, I'm motivated, let me pick something else up. That's kind of how it goes. Like you you start with working out and that kind of ignites your fire to pick up something else and sooner or later you realize that you're just you're you're becoming much more active. You're becoming a much more active person than you ever were before. So that's definitely something that's going to help boost your spirits. Now the next thing that I would suggest is to journal and write down words of affirmation. Now what are words of affirmation? These are statements that you either write down or you tell yourself every day as sort of like a mantra to really get yourself motivated and to affirm for yourself that statement. So if the affirmation is, 
I am beautiful, that is the thing that you write down every day. That's the statement that you tell yourself every day because the more that you affirm that to yourself, the more you believe it and it becomes true. Now, when it comes to journaling, I love to journal because I think that when you write down your thoughts and feelings, it makes them tangible. So much of depression and sadness comes from all of these negative thoughts that are just running through your mind that you just don't feel like you have a grasp of. Once you're able to actually take those thoughts, all of them as confusing as they are, and just write it all down. It doesn't have to make sense. It doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be poetic or anything like that. It doesn't even have to be grammatically correct. You know, if you just write it down on paper, those thoughts now are a thing. It's a thing that you can look at. It's a thing that you can see from a bird's eye view. And really, it gives you a different perspective. And I'm looking at them and I'm realizing how much control I actually have over these feelings over these thoughts. And so once you start journaling and really commit that as a habit, you're able to release some of that negative energy that is so often built up when we're in a situation where we really have very little control. We're at home, we can't go to work, we can't go and hang out with our friends. Many of us are missing graduations, birthdays, so there are a lot of things that are out of our control. But once we start writing them down and we see them from a bird's eye view and they become a thing, it's a thing that we can control and then we can decide that we're not going to allow those thoughts, those feelings to permeate our energy, to make us feel like we can't do the things that we wanna do. Really take a moment to appreciate the things in your life that are going well. You know, it's so easy when we're in this kind of realm and this kind of environment to really just allow all of the negative to wash over us and not take any moment to appreciate the things that are going well. I bet you right now, you could write down easily 10 things that are going well for you right now. And the more that we are able to focus on the 10 things that are going well instead of the two things that are not going so well, the more positive energy we're gonna have. And with that, the more affirmations, positive affirmations that we tell ourselves, that we repeat to ourselves every day, the more that we're going to believe that these statements are true, and then we can manifest that in our day-to-day -day lives. And the next thing that I wanna talk about is something that is slightly more superficial, but in my opinion, it's really very, very, very much important to your overall mental health, which is getting dressed. <laughs> it's so easy because we're at home to just look like bums every day, not put on any makeup, not do our hair, not get dressed, look like a hot mess. And it's okay because we don't have to see people. We don't have to present ourselves in any kind of way that we normally would. So we can easily just kind of let that be our status quo. But the problem with that is that when you don't put any effort into what you look like and make an effort to make yourself look good, you're not gonna feel good. You're not gonna feel good looking in the mirror. You're gonna look at yourself and you're gonna be like, ooh, my skin, my skin, my, I'm breaking out, but you know, whatever, I'm not gonna do anything about it. I'm not gonna care about my skincare. Ooh, my hair, it's breaking off because I'm not doing my regular maintenance that I need to be doing. Ooh, but don't really care because I'm not motivated. Oh, I look, I look like I'm kind of gaining a few pounds and I don't really want to put on anything nice so I'm gonna just leave that in the closet ramble ramble on but once you actually dress yourself in a way that makes you feel confident in turn you are going to feel confident and the last thing that I will say is to clean up your environment we have more than enough time to make sure that our homes are clean, that our rooms are clean, that just our overall environment is a clean and stable place. I can't tell you enough how much it bothers me mentally when I when my room is like a disaster. But when you have a clean space, you have a clear mind. You need to remove that clutter from your environment. If you haven't used something in a year, let's say, you're not using it. It's not benefiting you. It's literally just taking up space. The clearer your space is, the clearer your mind is. So take some time, put on some music, light a candle, clean your room, and I'm telling you, it will just lift your spirits. The fact that you have a clean space and things are orderly, you know where everything is, 
it's immediately, I'm telling you, it's immediately going to bring you so much more peace. All right, guys, so I hope that those five tips really do help you in just reclaiming your confidence during this quarantine. I know that for me, I'm making this video out of a place, coming from a place of um, sadness and anxiety myself, and I think that anyone would really be lying if they didn't say that this scenario, that this situation, this pandemic has not had a serious emotional effect on them. So I, I'm making this video as a way to sort of relate. Again, if you liked this video, definitely give it a big thumbs up and always subscribe to my channel for more videos just like this one. And until next time, guys, I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.